What's up fam, it's your boy Kirk, and we are back. <laughs> Got a StreamYard video for you this week. Uh, StreamYard came out with some updates and you know it got to the point where I said, look, we gotta put out a video because you guys need to know what these updates are all about. So without any further ado, let's figure out how it all works. I'm Kirk Nugent, and I teach small businesses, entrepreneurs, and faith-based entities how to simplify live video mechanics so they can shine a floodlight on their brand. In this video, we're gonna be talking about StreamYard's latest updates, three or four of them, three of them to be exact, one of them is a bonus, right? Um, and the one I'm gonna start with is not even the one that's in the title, right? <laughs> well, let's dive into that right now. So here we are in StreamYard, and this is isolated audio tracks. That's This is not one of their latest updates, but if you go to settings, right here, settings, and you see right here at the bottom, it says record a separate audio file for each guest. So that's how you turn it on. If you have the, the plan that, that goes along with this, you can use this to do some post-production for your podcast. And any of my audio folks, you guys know the power of having split audio tracks. So this is great. Um, if you, once you have this turned on, you have multiple people in your studio and you either record or broadcast, then you will finish your recording or finish your broadcast and come out of StreamYard, come back to this page, then go to pass broadcasts and go to download your video. So I'm just going to pick the first one here, did a test with a couple of friends. When I go to download recording, you'll see it says individual audio recordings right here at the bottom. So I have the option to download the video download which which include the audio of course download the audio which would just be the audio but it would be everybody one file but then i also have the ability to download individual audio recordings and let me show you what that looks like so here we are looking at my finder window and i downloaded the the files it came down as a zip and i unzipped it and here's the folder that all of them came in so you have uh kirk wave bt it names it for the people the way they name themselves in the studio. So BTS shot is the behind the scenes shot, the shot that's behind me. Charles Rogers, Talik. Charles came in twice, so you see that he had two different files, but in the other one, he wasn't able to stay long, he had a bad connection. Then of course, David Hunt. So you get the individual audio files and you're able to do with them as you will. Uh, this could be uh, really good for people who are doing some audio recording as well. Not necessarily like CD quality, but definitely uh, for my podcasters out there, this could definitely be something great for them. So let's look at feature number two. One of the major complaints that everybody was talking about was the size of the ticker. Now, to be clear, this is not the banner. Uh, the banners are here, you see those but the size of the ticker. Actually, what they changed was, if I check this box where it says scroll across the bottom, you see that that changes from 200 to 1,000, 1,000 characters. So a lot of people who are trying to put disclaimers, different things like that at the bottom of their video, have it just scroll across on the bottom so that people can read it. Longer disclaimers clearly needed the bigger character count, right? So that's what this feature is about. And here's the, the critical piece about this feature, nothing earth shattering. The critical thing about this feature is that the owners of the software, the creators of the software are listening. That's the critical piece. That's it. That's it. I'm, that one's for free. And so you can put a ticker on your on the bottom of your screen now that is much longer than you could have before. Uh, and because we, the user community, said that this is what we wanted, this is what we've been able to get. And I think that that's really cool. Feature number three. Now here on the brand tab, man, <laughs> the brand tab. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you some, some, some other stuff later, but here we have some flyers. And this was the conference that I did last month. And so one of the things that they fixed, I mean, and when I say this is hot off the press, this is like Father's Day news. I still have on my Father's Day shirt because it is Father's Day. And I was like, yo, I gotta get this thing recorded. But this is hot off the press. They are literally rolling this out today to accounts today. So if you don't have it yet, give it some time. They're rolling it out to accounts today. What it is is a fix for overlays, graphic overlays, full graphic overlays or poor, uh, partial graphic overlays where you have some parts of it that are transparent. So take, for instance, this one here. Let me put myself on screen. So take, for instance, this This is a overlay that's transparent. The rest of it's transparent, just a small piece of it that isn't. 
Um, this one actually has a line on it. But here's the thing that was the challenge before. When you would put these on screen, if I wanted to move from one to the other, there would be sometimes a slight flash where you would see the person behind the screen. So if I myself and two other guests were on screen, when you go to pull up a different flyer, you'd see them really quickly before the other flyer displayed. And so they fixed that. And I'm, that's really cool. I mean, you know, being able to um, identify that as an issue. And I don't know if it's a big fix or a small fix, but I say kudos to them for understanding that this is something that is a part of the production value. Um, a produced show, the definition of that is simple. We control everything that the user is experiencing, that the end viewer is experiencing. And with this one little glitch, this was one of those areas where we weren't able to fully manage that, that experience. The video ones have not been fixed, but the overlays, the graphic overlays have been. And so you can see that, that, that transition between them now, and that's pretty good. I wanted to show you guys one of the things that I do, one of the quick hacks that I do to change scenes, right? So to, I want to bring somebody else on screen. Uh, I want to, I've got one guest leaving, another one coming in. And one of the things you can do is, of course, put up a flyer, right? Like I, like I have now. And of course, when you take that flyer down, you don't want to just click to take the flyer down. This is the flyer here. If I take it down, you'll see the two videos there, but that's not what you want to do. You want to actually go back up to your two person overlay and click that and that's going to take the flyer down and it allows you to come back to this scene like this so that's one of the things that i do to change scenes but another thing that you can do to change scenes is to use a video and so let's say somebody else is going to be coming up to speak you you can create a i i like to use a 15 second video so here's here's a 15 second bumper video that's going to help me change scenes And so now I'm back on screen with the overlay for the one person and I'm able to just go ahead and start speaking because uh, as soon as that video is finished, I know I'll be in the spot. I've it, The 15 seconds gives you probably more than enough time, but that's what you want. You want to be done and ready for the video to finish uh, with your scene change. So that's that's my last one. And I hope that that has been useful for you. So there you have it. Listen, one of the things I want to share here right as we wrap it up quick one today, hoping to try and keep it under 10 minutes, but is that is that StreamYard is listening. That's a huge thing. Uh, I want you to also know that um, isolated audio tracks, right? Being able to in record individual audio tracks from every guest you have in your studio is something that Restream also has. And so what that means for us as consumers, when there's more than one uh, a vendor, when there's one, more than one company in the marketplace in a given space, we, the consumers, benefit because they will go head to head, you know, feature for feature, function for function, and we get to benefit from those. And I love that. Not, not There's nothing wrong with either of these platforms. People are always wanting me to, hey, say, say which one is better. Tell me which one is better. I'm going to say to you every single time, it depends. It depends on your use case. It depends on what you're trying to do. It depends on what you're trying to achieve, how simple you want it to be. What is your learning curve? How, what is your, you know, <laughs> tolerance for complexity in these kinds of platforms? All of those things come into what I would recommend for a given person. But that's not the point. The point is getting your message out there. That's why I do these videos like these, because I want to make sure that you know that these platforms are providing functionality for us to be able to level up every single day. And so with that, if you're new here, want to make sure that you know that we're on a journey to 5,000 subscribers and we'd ask that you take that journey with us. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Um, make sure you click the notification notification bell because that's how you'll know when we go live and when we have new content. Uh, we go live on Mondays for our show, Convos and Collabs, every Monday at 7 p.m. Uh, for when, for our, our show on Wednesdays, we do the midweek huddle and we go live at 1230 Central Standard Time. Then on Fridays, kind of late, somewhere around 10 p.m., we have the virtual cafe, all three packed with value, all three curated and designed specifically with you in mind. And we also do these how-to videos, and we're hoping that you're getting value from each one of them. 
It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that somewhere in the video today, somewhere while we looked at these new features and functions and updates from StreamYard, you were able to figure out how it all works. I'll see you in the next video.